on Wednesday, for those of you who are new here, on Wednesday, we finished off our lesson by labeling the parts of the circle. And I had a whole lot of people in class help me with this, all right? We had people talking, okay? Guys, what I would suggest, go grab a circular shape. So tonight, I brought my circle. I'm going to show you. So if I was making notes, this is like a little coaster that I've got on my table here. I would use this coaster to just draw quick notes, all right? So here's my circle that I would put on my page just to draw my example, okay? Let's go have a look at my example. It says, label all the parts of the circle. So I know on Monday, on Wednesday, sorry, I asked for all your help. But tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on all the different parts. And I want you to guys to take notes with me. All right. So you're going to draw your circle and we're going to make some notes. OK, so go ahead, draw your circle. In the meantime, while you're drawing your circle, I'm going to go and I'm going to go fill in some of these words. So the first one that I'm starting with is I'm starting with this word that is going to be this block that's in green over here. And I see plenty of hands raised because I know you guys know what it is. And I see people telling me in the chat. Good. Well done, guys. It is called a radius. All right. So let's talk about what a radius is. Let's talk about what a radius is. Okay. A radius, all right, is a line. Okay. It is a line that's a line that starts at the center. of the circle and ends at the now if you want to be fancy if you want to be fancy about this radius okay we're going to say that the the radius starts at the center of the circle and it ends at the we want to be fancy, we're going to say circumference. Okay, circumference is like a fancy way of saying, in brackets here, yeah, the edge of the circle. Okay, so the outer edge of the circle, the circumference, all right, is the Fancy way of saying the outer edge of the circle. Who can give me another word for circumference? Who can give me another word for circumference, guys? We, it was in last week's quiz. What's what's another word for good? Well done, Mulalo. Perimeter. Well done, Jaden. Good, guys. Perimeter is another word. Okay. So in another shape, the outside edge of a shape would be known as the perimeter. All right. And when we go and we're learning about perimeter and area, guys, when we're learning about perimeter and area, okay, we're going to be talking a lot about perimeter, and I'm going to teach you a cheat way to remember what perimeter is and how it's on the outside. But circumference is a fancy way of saying the edge or the outside, okay? And another way of saying that is perimeter. Well done. All right. Let us label the blue line first. I mean, the blue line next, sorry. Let's label this blue line next. So this blue line, just like you guys told me on Wednesday, and for those people that weren't here, the blue line is what we call the diameter. So the blue line is what we call the diameter, guys, the diameter. All right, so a diameter. So, a diameter is a line, okay, that starts at the, where can we say that it starts? Where can we say that the diameter starts? Tell me in the chat. Tell me in the chat. I'm not going to take hands yet, but tell me in the chat. Where does the diameter start, guys? Does it start in the center? Does it start in the center? Think about the diameter. Look at the diameter. So I'm just going to highlight them for you, which one we're looking at quickly. 
So for the diameter, we're looking at this line over here. Okay, good. He starts at the circumference. Good. So the diameter is a line that starts at the... Oh, dear, wrong color. My goodness. It's a line that starts at the circumference. All right. Then... A very important point to make sure you get all your marks. So a diameter is a line that starts at the circumference. It goes through the center. And ends at the circumference. All right, so a diameter is a line that starts at the circumference. It goes through the center. It's very important that we say that, that it goes through the center. Otherwise, it can just be any kind of line, guys. It can go any kind of line. So a diameter is a line that starts at the circumference. It goes through the center, all right, and it ends at the circumference. All right. So. An important point about the diameter, an important point, whoopsie daisy, that we need to know, sorry guys, about the diameter, let's pull it down like this, is that if we had to take the radius, all right, if we had to take the radius, all right, and we had to times the radius by two, we would then get the diameter. So if we had to take this line, I'm going to draw a line over my radius. I'm going to make it a different color. Let's make it this green color. All right, so here's my radius. I'm going to draw him, hey? There he is over there. All right. So I'm putting him over my diameter. All right, everybody good? You can see him? Okay, so if I take my radius, can you see that I can fit that radius once? Oopsie daisy, sorry guys. Let's use this guy rather. So I can fit this radius once, twice into my diameter. Can you see it? How many times does the radius go into the diameter? It goes once, twice. All right. So in other words, the diameter, the diameter, so you're going to write D is equal to 2 times by the radius. So the diameter is equal to 2 times by the radius. All right, well done, Mulalo. Exactly, it's made up of 2 radii. Good, that's a fancy way of saying it. Well done. 2 radii. All right, the arrow that this point is pointing to in this box, what is this box pointing to? What's it pointing to? What's that little thing in the center there? Oh, I've just told you, the center, good. So that is the center. Okay, so that little point is the center, well done. That little point is the center. And finally, what do we call the space around the whole edge of the circle, guys? What is the space around the whole edge of the circle? We call it the circumference. All right, so a circumference. Okay, a circumference is known as the edge of the circle, like what we said earlier, also known as a perimeter. All right, so now is a perfect screenshot time. If you haven't been taking notes with me, or even if you have, 
and you want to make sure that you've got all the notes down. There they are for you. So a perfect screenshot time for you. Okay, a perfect screenshot time. Make sure you've got all the notes, you've got everything labeled. All right, at the end of the lesson, guys, while you were busy um, doing the quiz and stuff, somebody asked me, ma'am, what about things like a segment and a secant and an arc? And all those things are important. And we are going to learn about them when we do 2D shapes, which is next week. Okay, for now, we're focusing on this information because this information we need to go and build our um, constructions. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to move my screen down a bit. Okay, now we went through these super quick last week Wednesday, so I am going through these again with you. I want you guys to go and answer these for me, and I am going to take hands on people who um, would like to answer for us. So there are one, two, three questions there. One, two, three questions there. All right. Let us start with Mulalo. Mulalo, are you helping me out first tonight? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Mulalo. How are you? Hi, I'm, I'm fine, ma'am. Good. Can I can I do? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Good. Which one do you want to do, Mulalo? Tell, talk to me. Um, can I do B? Of course you can do B. Let's do B together, Mulalo. So we starting with B, Mulalo, and mm -hmm. us. So Mulalo, the outside edge of a circle is also known as the perimeter. The perimeter. Good. And in a circle, what's the fancy word for the outside edge of a circle? What? What's the fancy word for perimeter for a circle? What's the fancy word that we learned about? Circumference. Good, circumference. well done. So be careful, okay? They always want it to be circumference. Conference. Well done. Thanks, Molalo. All right, let's go with Shandy. Hi, Shandy, Hi, how are you? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Fantastic, Shandy. Ma'am, can I answer C? Of course you can answer C. Let's go, Shandy. So, the longest line you can draw across a circle will always pass through the? Circumference. The circumference. Oh, no. Okay, you, so let's, so I agree with you. It will touch the circumference. I don't know about it passing through the circumference, but it will touch the circumference. What's the line called, Shandy, that touches the circumference, goes through the center, and touches the other side of the circumference? What's that line called? Mem, the diameter. Good. So that line's called the diameter. So that is the longest line that we get in a circle. And the longest line you can draw across a circle will always pass through the center. Center, yes, the center. Okay. Makes sense? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Shandy. Bye. Bye. All right. And my last one, Azande. Oh, Azande disappeared from my screen. Azande, are you there? No, Azande disappeared. Okay, let's yes, go. Oh, hi, Azande. How are you? I'm good. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. Azande, are you going to do A with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the something of a circle is always the same distance from the center to the outside edge. What did we see earlier when I was moving that line around? Which one is that? The radius. Well done. So the radius is always going to be the same distance from the center to the outside edge. Hey? And what's the fancy yeah. word for, I mean, sorry. What's the fancy word for outside edge again? What's that fancy word? The perimeter or circumstance. Circumference. Whatever. Circumference. Good. Circumference. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. Well done. Thank you so much, Azande. Welcome, ma'am.
Okay, guys. Sure. Great sevens. We are on fire tonight. We're moving fast. All right. Let us move on. So, in our next question, it says, look at the diagram below. Point P is the center of the larger circle. So, I want you to go and on your page, I want you to draw two circles. Okay. Here would be my larger circle. I would draw the circle. You don't need to have a compass to draw this, guys. You can draw this without a compass for now. It's fine. Okay, so here's my circle. I'm going to put a line circle around it on my page. Okay, and I'm going to draw my big circle, and then I'm going to have point O, and then I'm going to draw a small circle. So I'm giving you one minute to go draw that. If you want to use your compass, you are more than welcome to. Get those math sets going. If you've dug them out from the bottom of your bag, so you might as well get it going. Right. Okay, so we've got two circles. We've got a big circle with the center O, okay, point O in the center, and then we've got a small circle. Can you see that small circle is actually going through point O, everybody? You're seeing it on my screen, hey? All right. So now we're going to go and we're going to answer some questions on circles based on what we learned before. So the question says, if the radius of the small circle is 12,5 centimeters, what is the diameter of the small circle? All right, let's have a look at this. So they want me to do a radius in the small circle. So... If somebody can tell me again, just remind us, what is a radius? Who's going to tell me? What is a radius? And Paul, what is a radius? Uh, Ma'am, a radius is half of the circle, a line that is half of the circle. Good. It's a line that's half of the circle. Good. It goes from the center to the edge. Hey? Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well done, and Paul. Thank you. All right, so I'm happy with Mpo's answer, okay? It goes from the center to the edge, but I must read carefully, all right? Remember that we must read carefully. So the question says it's the radius of the small circle. So here is my small circle, okay? And here is the center of my small circle. So I'm going to go put a point there so you can see them. Okay, I'm going to make a point for my small circle. All right, I'm going to make a center, and I'm going to make the center over there. Okay, that's where I'm judging the center of that small circle to be. All right, so now I've got to go do a radius on it. So from the center to the edge. All right, that's a radius, hey? Am I allowed to draw on my picture? Of course I can. It's my question paper. I can draw whatever I want on it as long as it's math. Okay. So, they've told me the radius of this small circle is 12,5. So, this is 12,5 centimeters. Okay. Now, they're saying to me, if that's what the radius is equal to, what will the diameter be equal to? Okay. What did we say earlier about the diameter? Who can remember? What did we say earlier about the diameter? Who's going to tell me? Katlejo, have you got an answer for me? What do we know about the diameter? In order to get the diameter of a circle, you must add the radius plus the radius, which will give you the diameter. Well done. Good. Well done, Katlejo. Okay. So, Katlejo is saying, in order to get the diameter, okay, we must have the radius plus the radius. All right. Because remember, what is diameter? Diameter, if I draw the diameter in a different color for you guys. Okay, let's make them red. All right. The diameter goes from the edge through the center to the other edge. Right. So actually, that's like having two radius. It's like having a radius and a radius or two radii, we say. 
All right, so if we have to write that in maths, we're going to say diameter equals radius plus radius, which equals 12,5 plus 12,5. Then you can either pull out your calculator if you're allowed to use a calculator in your maths classes, or you can go do some mental maths sums, and you get that that's equal to 25 centimeters. 25 centimeters. All right. Now, I am going to go draw that on my drawing for you guys. So I'm going to go take my line, which was my radius before. I'm going to go turn them into my diameter quickly for you. So I'm going to say that this is now the diameter is equal to 25 centimeters. Okay. Let's look at the next question together. If the radius of the small circle is 12,5, which they told us in the previous question, Okay, they told us that in the previous question that the diameter was, the radius was 12,5. Okay. Give the radius and the diameter of the big circle now. So what will the radius and the diameter be of the big circle now? What will the radius and the diameter be of the big circle now? I want to start with the radius first. Who's going to help me with the radius First, Unati, I see your hand raised. Unati, you're going to help me out. Unati, are you there with me? Okay. Um, all right. Unati is not there with me. Um, uh, Liletu? Liletu, do you want to try help me out? Um. Yes, hi Laletu. Do you want to try help me out for B to find the radius of the big circle? Yes, ma'am. Okay, talk to me, Laletu. First of all, how am I going to work out which one is the radius? Uh, you start from the center going to the circumference. Good. So in the big circle, I'm starting at the center and I'm going to the circumference. So I'm going to go pull out a highlighter. Okay, so I'm starting at the center. The center was O, hey? And I'm going to the yes, ma'am. Oh, and look at that, Laletu. Have we already worked out what the radius of this big circle is? Yes, ma'am. Oh, well done. So this was A. So for B now, we can go say that the radius yes. of the big circle was equal to 25 centimeters. Well done. Thank you for saying that we had to find out what the radius was first. Well done. Thank you, Laletu. Laletu, do you want to carry on? Yes, do you want to help me find the diameter now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, talk to me. How do I get the diameter of the big circle now? Uh, you multiply the radius by 2. Well done. So I'm going to multiply the radius by 2, and it's going to give me 50. 50. Centimeters. Well yes, done. Thanks, Laletu. Yes, ma'am. Oh dear. All right. Okay. So, well done, guys. That one was a tricky one. So, well done, everybody. Let's have a look at the last one. The last two. The last two sets. Add a label. Okay. On the diagram, add and label point P which was the center of the small circle. So we already did that. So on your drawing, let's draw there. Okay, so we're going to go draw point P. So here's point P, which was the center for us. And now it says, draw a circle which has a diameter that touches both point O and point P. Label the center of the circle point Q. Oh my goodness. All right, so... I'm going to go and just erase and make some space here for myself. All right, so there's my point O, there's my point P. They want me to draw a circle that has a diameter that touches point O and point P, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go pull out my compass quickly. 
to help me out here. All right, now we don't have to use a compass for this and we are gonna learn how to use a compass um, a little bit later on in this lesson, all right? But for now, I'm gonna go use my compass just to help me get the right answer here. So I'm putting my point of my compass on point O and I'm dragging the pencil over to where I have point P. And I'm going to use that to measure. Now, another thing I could use to measure is the ruler, actually. So let's bring the ruler down as well. All right, so this is the first time we're using the compass today. We are gonna learn more about the compass on the next screen, I promise. Okay, but the distance between point O and point P in my drawing is about two comma, three centimeters. So two comma three centimeters. All right, so that's my distance is about two comma three centimeters. So if I take my protractor, okay, now my protractor is telling me two comma one, and I half that, I'm going to get about one centimeter. So I'm going to half that, and I'm going to get just short of one centimeter. Right. I'm gonna bring him back here. I'm gonna put him on point P and on my line. Another way to do this is to just get a circle that actually fits over point O and point P. That's also fine. Okay, and here we go. Oh dear, it doesn't fit. Oh, we have to make it slightly bigger. Okay, let's make ours a little bit bigger. All right, mine didn't fit, so I'm gonna try and make him a little bit bigger. Let's see if he goes now. Oh dear. Okay, let's try again. All right. That's why it's always handy to use a pencil, like I've said to you guys before, and not a pen when you're doing this. And look at that. A beautiful, beautiful circle, guys. A beautiful, beautiful circle. Goes through point O and point P. All right. So, label the center of the circle point Q. So we saw just now that that was the center and we're gonna label that as point Q. All right, guys. So let's move on. We're gonna have a look at how we um, uh, now use the compass properly. So let's have a look at using our compass properly for tonight's lesson. All right. So we are going to identify the part of a pair of compasses and complete the descriptions of each part. So this is what our compass looks like. You guys have seen it. I showed you my one on my screen just now. Okay. All right, you guys have seen it. Okay, so if I'm looking at this first block, so in other words, if I'm looking at the first block, everybody, I am looking at, and hopefully you'll be able to see this nicely on your screen, this block over here. It says something of circle. The point stays something while you rotate the arm that holds the pencil. All right, who is going to help me here? I still see lots of arms raised. So let's go, Amar. Amar, are you going to help me here? Yes, ma'am. Um, okay, Amar, let's go. What is that one called? Um, it's like a pointy part that helps um, the, uh, um, the, the compass stay still when you join the circle. Good, it's the pointy part. Good, well done. So it's the pointy part. And do you agree that that pointy part, all right, it stays, it stays stationary, hey, or it stays still? Do you agree? Yes. Okay, it stays. Can we say still? Is still the right word? Um. Still. Yes. Yeah. You don't sound certain. Are you sure, Ma? Uh, I'm hundred percent sure, man. Hundred percent sure. So it stays still while you rotate the arm that holds the pencil. Now, where does that pointy part go onto? It goes onto the center. center. 
of the circle. The circle. Okay, so that one goes onto the center of the mm. circle. Thanks, Amar. Okay, let us carry on. Right. So, who is going to help me with my next one? Who's helping me with my next one? Um, let's go. Uh, oh, first of all, let's choose which one we're going to. Apologies. Let's choose which one we're going to next. So, the which block are we going to go to next? Now that our screen is back on, we're going to this block next, everybody. So next, we're going to this block. So you should be able to see that on your screen. OK, we're going to this block next. Let's get somebody who hasn't, we haven't heard from tonight. So let's go with Asonge. Asonge, can you hear me? Am I saying your name correctly? A songe? Okay, I'm not getting a songe there. Let's go to Anam. Hi, Anam. Oh, and Anam has disappeared. All right, I'm losing all my hands here. Uh, let's go with uh, Christian. Hi, Hello. Christian. Hi, how are Hi. you? Hi, I'm good in you. Good. Are you going to help me out with this block? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go. So this block here, something of circle, change this by using a ruler and moving the arms of the compass to the correct what? We saw just now when I was drawing a circle, what did I, I used the ruler, okay, because I was trying to get the right what? What was I getting for that circle? And you're what trying we... to get the, you're trying to get the, what you call this, the center. Good, I was trying to get the center, good. What do we call the line that goes from the center to the edge? What's that line called? From the center to the edge. Um, yeah. It is called a, wait me. I lost okay. my notes. Go to your notes. Good, well done, I like that. I like that we're looking at our notes, love it. So ma'am, it, it is called a, it's called a radius. Well done, good. So for this point, we're looking at the radius of the circle. Oh dear. Yes, ma'am. So sorry, busy using our magic pencil. That won't help us, will it? Hey. Okay, so yes. we are looking at the radius of the circle. Good, well done. So we're looking at the radius of the circle. So we say, change this by using the ruler and moving the arms of the compass to the correct, and what do we do move to the correct? The correct distance, hey? Yes, ma'am. It's almost like okay. spinning across the distance, but it's not. Well done, nice, I like it, well done. Awesome, yes, thank you so much for your help. Okay, guys, we are running a little bit short on time, so I am going to fill in the next ones with you guys, okay. What do we call this little diagram over here? So let's move this across so that we can actually see what we're doing here. So what do we call this little point over here? All right, what is that thing called? You can tell me in the chat if you want to. Okay, you can tell me in the chat if you want to, but that is called what? What do we call that? All right, what do we call that, guys? What do we call that? It's called the handle. Well done. Sure. Well done, grade sevens. It's called the handle. So turn the compass by, what do we do? We either twist it or maybe we turn it between our thumb and our finger. So by turning this between your thumb and your forefinger, and finally, this last bit over here. Now, if you've got one of those math sets that comes out of that little uh, box, that little steel box, and it's got that teeny tiny um, pencil in it, you'll recognize this pencil that's here on your screen. And you'll see you've got that like little um, thing on the side, and you've got to twist and twist to get your pencil to fit into that. The pencil holder, good, well done, Mulalo. Okay, we normally call that a clamp. Okay, so we normally call that a clamp. 
All right, and we fix your pencil here with the sharpened point, as you will notice. We like to have a nice sharp point, okay, in line with the tip of the needle when you close the arms. So it's good to have it with the tip of the needle when you close the arms. All right, so this is another perfect screenshot moment for you about the compass, so you can see what the compass looks like. Okay, take a screenshot so that you can see what a compass looks like. So when we're talking about the compass and all the parts of the compass, you understand and you can go back to this picture and you can have a look. So take a picture of the compass. Screenshot time, guys. Screenshot time. Okay. All right. So we are going to draw one circle for ourselves tonight as an example. And it says to us, draw a circle with a radius of 10 centimeters. So draw a circle with a radius of 10 centimeters. So I'm going to bring up a new page for myself here. All right, so we need a nice clean page, everybody. Hopefully you've got your compass on you. You're gonna need your ruler as well. I'm gonna go grab my compass. I'm gonna grab my ruler, okay? Remember, you've got your compass all set. You've got your pencil in there. It's nice and sharp. It's in line with the tip of your needle. Okay, it's in line with the tip of your needle. All right. And we need to draw a circle that has a radius of 10 centimeters. So I have a teeny tiny compass here. Let's see if I can make this compass a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if it'll let me. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to have to use this teeny tiny compass. All right, so I'm going to start by putting the tip of my compass on zero. Okay, so you put the tip of your compass on zero. All right, and then you are going to open up the arm of your compass until you get, oh dear, look at mine, it goes all the way flat, until you get all the way, okay, to um, 10 centimeters. So I'm going to see if I can make mine a little bit bigger because my compass is so tiny, it doesn't want to work. Let's see if I can make my ruler a bit smaller. No. All right, so you would open up your compass until you get to 10 centimeters. Now, your compasses will all get you to 10 centimeters, guys. My compass is a little bit small, as you can see. I'm really sorry. Okay, so I'm going to do my circle to 6 centimeters, unfortunately. I'm really sorry. That's where it is. Okay, can't get my, my compass to be any bigger. All right, sorry, let's move it out the way. The good, the, a good, good, good point, guys, to get yourself into practice is before you go and draw your circle just anywhere on your page, make a point on your page. So there is a point on my page, and I'm going to label that point as point O. Okay, so this is a really good point for you. All right? It's a really good point for you. All right, now... I'm going to go, I'm going to pick up my compass again, I'm going to put him on my point O, and I'm about to draw my circle all the way around. Let's go. So I'm holding down, remember that point goes is stationary, that's the stationary point, it goes in the center. All right, and you should all have beautiful, perfect, circles. Now, if you have to take your ruler, if you guys did it correctly, and you had to measure from the center to the edge, you guys will all get 10 centimeters. Hey? So oh. you guys will all get 10 centimeters. Unfortunately, my circle didn't reach, so I only get oopsie, I'm only going to get 6 centimeters. So I'm going to go draw mine in for you guys. And I'm going to say that my radius equals, and we're going to pretend 10 centimeters. Right. 
So your last point is to tell them that your radius is equal to 10 centimeters. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful circle, beautiful. All right, I know that this is hard to believe, but we have come to the end of our lesson. Can you believe it? We have come to the end. Uh, that's a really hard thing to believe, I know. So on Wednesday, do not forget to be here on Wednesday because on Wednesday, we're going to carry on using the compass and we're actually going to learn some really cool things that you could do with the compass, not just draw circles. So we're going to learn some other stuff that we're going to learn on Wednesday, okay? So make sure you are here on Wednesday. I want to see you guys all here again. Before you leave this class, though, Mr. Hugo and I want you to go and answer the poll, please. So everybody go and answer this poll before you leave class. There are 108 of you. I expect to see 108 of you answering the poll. Otherwise, guys, have a really good week at school.